Nudibranchs are colourful little sea slugs that live in our oceans and they're really fun to paint. So in today's video, I'm going to be painting in real time so that you guys can paint along with me. You don't need any fancy paints, just any old watercolours will do. And a couple of black pens in different sizes if you have them, or just one black pen um, and you can get away with it being just the one size. This is just going to be a really relaxing 30 minute paint and you'll get this colourful character at the end of it. So I hope you guys enjoy. First off, start by mixing a nice bright blue and you just want to fill in all the sections of this nudibranch that are going to be blue, which is pretty much the main body. The reference photo I'm using for this nudibranch is linked below in the description of this video so that you can follow along and giving full credit to the picture that I'm painting this from, I didn't take it at all. So um, go give credit to the author by clicking on that link and making sure um, you check out their page too. some darker areas to this nudibranch so you also want to mix a slightly darker blue colour just by combining the blue that you already have with a few dabs of black. You don't need much because when you layer the watercolours up anyway it will become darker and just add that into the sections that you can see the nudibranch is uh, slightly darker and this kind of helps give 
the nudie branch, which is a very wobbly shape anyway, a bit more form and you can kind of make a bit more distinctions of uh, its wibbly shape. Next comes the bright yellow. Now I made a slight mistake here and coloured this whole section in yellow. There should be a bit of a white outline. So if you can leave the white outline just there before putting the yellow on, um, that would be best. But you can fix it later on with a bit of a white pen. And you just want to cover this bright yellow kind of strip, leaving a bit of white between the blue and the yellow because this species has um, like a white outline. Um, around uh, on the inside and the outside. So just paint around the new brank in this lovely yellow, um, leaving those gaps. Like we did with the darker blue, you also want to mix up a slightly darker version of this yellow, maybe by adding a slight hint of orange in. And that's because these are kind of 3D sticky outy bits of this nudibranch. And you kind of want to add a bit of form in and a bit of shadows, which kind of shows that this is acting like a ribbon. And doing that, you can just put them in in almost like loose lines down the side of the stripe, which just kind of helps to emphasize that it's a 3D shape. And later on, we'll go over and kind of define those blobs of shadows a bit more with some pen. Now for the kind of sticky out frondy bits of this nudie brank, you want to mix up a lightish kind of orange to do the base layer for them and um, cover these guys in uh, orange.
taking a darker orange we can go in and kind of add a few bits of details of the uh, the frilliness of um, these and just do that by adding tiny little dabs of lines of of the orange if you can wait for the paint to dry um, that will be better too but also having it slightly wet does give um, a bit more of a looser feel and that just helps add some detail into this painting paint the patterning as black as you can make it we will go over it with a pen later but putting a paint layer down first means that we are going to be able to kind of hide where that pen doesn't quite cover all of the area and makes the coloring over a lot easier After this stage is over you want to go and let that completely dry before we go and touch the paint at all um, with pen so that it doesn't bleed but then once you have and uh, you should also grab a rubber and just rub out any sections where you can see that there's a pencil mark where you're not actually going to cover it with a black pen there will be mostly areas most of the pencil will actually mark out where we're going to outline but in this case, because the nudibranch has a white outline around its edge, I'm getting rid of the pencil so that my pen mark can be just a few millimetres away from the um, surface of where I've put the paint. And then it's time to add the pen. On the outline of the drawing, you want to draw with the thickest pen that you have something like a 0 0.4 a 0 0.3 if you've got numbers but if not it won't make too much of a difference kind of trace where the paint is but just a few millimeters from the edge giving that idea that it is a white line surrounding it and then whenever there's not a white line just trace the pencil marks you made before and outline the entire uh, shape When you're outlining the inside of the patterning I would suggest using little dash lines little dot lines so that they're not fully complete that kind of just makes it a bit more subtle on the actual body of the organism and makes the outline of the animal stand out a lot more too
We then want to go and colour in and make sure that all of the black patterning as, is as dark as possible. So get a black pen, um, the biggest size you can find, and just colour away. This nudie rank has a pattern that's covered in dots, so you want to get a, a fine pen, like a 0.1 size pen, or if not, just kind of angle a larger pen at its side so that the whole um, nib isn't touching the paper, and just do a load of dots. If you want to add some more form and shape and shading to this nudie rank, then a few lines will help kind of mark out where some shadows are, where some texture is, and where maybe the darker areas of the nudie rank will be hiding behind the feathery fronds sticking up at the front. I'm just going to use a white pen right here, don't use this if you don't need to, to kind of make that um, outline a bit whiter because I made the mistake and didn't actually um, 
cover or leave that section uh, white. It's a really good tip to use a white gel pen or a white Poshka pen to go over afterwards and um, do that to any white areas. Normally they work a lot better than what they're working uh, with now, but these pens have been used for quite a while and I haven't had a chance to get a replacement. Um, but that is one art trick from me to you. Again, using a nice thin pen or the side of the nib of a larger pen, do little lines and dots um, along the edge of the fronds, just sticking out from where the paint is a bit to kind of add details and texture of those featheriness. Then go ahead and do this for the rest of the body. Use the dots um, to do the pattern, colour in the black sections and add lines to kind of add more form and flows of um, the muscles that are inside this newly bank.
We can also add a few dots to the yellow ribboning and use those dots in a, to form a line so that we're kind of bringing out the shadows, bringing out the form of the ribbon that's kind of running around this species. That's it, it'll be pretty much done. What are you calling your nudibranch? My nudibranch is called Nigel. Comment below and let me know the names of your painted uh, nudibranchs. And please like, share, subscribe if you liked this video and check out my other ones for other marine fun.